Welcome to Anime America's A-List, where we take the top 10 of the best and worst in the world of anime. Join your fellow co-hosts of Anime America and other special guests as they rant and joke about the holy grails of anime as well as the epic fails. Following our previous list of the top 10 best English dubs, we now present you with the polar opposite. That's right, in this episode we reveal our top 10 worst English dubs ever. Anime after anime, we suffered through ear-bleeding agony while we watched our favorite animes being butchered one by one. We did our best to keep the list down to just 10, so we ask you all to bear with us and pull out your earplugs as we start the list at number 10. I stand for justice! I stand for love! I'm Sailor Moon! And I shall punish you! In the name of the moon! Sailor Moon S and Super S, licensed by Genion. Okay, when I was in middle school and they announced that there were more Sailor Moon episodes coming to America, I was like, yes, 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 oh man, sweet. They're going to bring back all the original, you know, casts and make it as good as it used to be. No. The audio did not blend well as it did back in the old days. The new Usagi, or Serena, just annoyed the hell out of me. You can tell that the actresses were so good at what they do that you could just put them in the room and you don't even have to give them direction. I am so happy right now! <laughs> I am so entertained with my transformation! Oh, look at me! <laughs> the voices are ridiculous. It was just bad. The voice acting was so off and the levels were going ooh, ooh, ooh. I like watching the animation, but I muted the whole season. Voices alone can give you a headache. Just so condescending from one another. And this girl, who has just a man voice, you, you make, it makes you wonder, you know, usually for, usually for little boys, they have the woman playing the boy's voice. Well, this one, they have the man playing the girl's voice. I swear to God. Men do not belong to speaking as women. I don't think I can do it. I don't think any other man can do it. Sorry if it bursts your bubble that I'm a girl. Very weird voice acting for this one, I have to say. At least at the beginning when uh, Sailor Neptune and the other one, uh, yeah, that one, uh, <laughs> I think they should have used their voice in some other anime. They didn't fit with this one, and I think they were, I don't want to say they were too serious, because that's part of their personality in the anime, but just the voice um, for some mm. other anime, not for this one. Let me be straight here. Every single one of these dubs has made me want to punch a baby. Uh, and not just, you know, a regular punch, a haymaker, you know. It was just horrible all around. Oh my god, Darian, what are we gonna do? I'm still in room, but I'm so horrible and transforming. Seriously, that's really the voice. Her first voice was so cute. It was all raspy. She actually sounded 14. She didn't sound like a 20 year old retarded hooker on the corner of your local whatever here it's obt your local hooker street there you go with one horrible dub down let's continue on with a children's anime surprisingly not dubbed by four kids together with my new online friends from around the world we invented a wicked new game we called bakugan bakugan licensed by cartoon network enterprise bakugan was one of the ones that i nominated because it's so bad they got, this is one of those that we talked about where they have monsters and the monsters have to have weird voices. Eh, I'm a monster and my voice is going to be like this. Oh, I'm a really big ogre and I'm going to smash! Ogre smash! Oh man, it's freaking terrible and the kids, you got adults trying to play kids and this isn't like Vic Mignogna and Full Metal Alchemist where it sounds like a uh, really, you know, a kid that is weathered and learning lessons. This is, whoa, we are really excited and there's things going on. I'm really trying to be a kid, a fake one. That was pretty bad. And it wasn't even four kids. <laughs> that was sad. Wait, that was a poor excuse of an anime. Wait, it wasn't four kids? No. <laughs> it wasn't. Damn! <laughs> I don't know how much worse and I anything could get four from four kids. kids. Bad. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, are, are you serious? This wasn't done by four kids? Are you serious? 
This is just as bad as four kids. Oh my god. The thing about Bahagan was I was very surprised to hear that it was not by four kids. Wow. And the other thing, it, it was so bad, it was hilarious to, to the point that I'm sure if there's any emotion in this anime, I did not get it. <laughs> I completely agree with you. I mean, I don't want to even talk about. I mean, for one, it's like a weird, a weird mix between like Yu-Gi-Oh -Oh and Pokemon for me. I mean, I just, it was weird for me to even see that. So, no. <laughs> I watched the intro, and after I watched the intro, I threw up. Uh, I can't, I can't say you know. I don't think I've ever got past the intro. That's that's all I could say. You know. You thought that was horrible? Well, wait till you get a load of this wreck at number eight. Everyone has to live carrying a burden on his back, but you apparently carry nothing, and yet you want to enjoy judging people? You're forgetting you are human. Vampire Princess Miyu, licensed by Tokyo Pop. since I was 11 and I watched it in the Japanese version and then they put it in English English and then they pissed me off I don't know what it is with these directors of these animes but for some reason they don't feel like directing the voice talent they're like walking up going I'm saying these words and I think this is how I should say it because this is a dramatic scene and I am an overbearing person in this scene Horrible! I got the imports and it came with the English dubbing. I'm like, oh, this is interesting because I watched it in Japanese and I thought to myself, oh, if it's in English, then maybe I should give it a try. Chisoto is a Shinma? Oh, are you surprised? Switch it back, switch it back, switch it back. The remote's not working. Ah, kill the TV. So much overacting. The audio wasn't blended in well and. The one scene that creeped me out the most was like in the final episode where like the, the friend was like being held against her life and she was about to die. And she was just sitting there in the Japanese, you hear, ah, 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 which she's scared. In the American, you hear, ha, 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 No, no! <laughs> what the hell are they doing? Half the time, I like I watched the porno, not an anime. <laughs> oh, and then bam, penetration. How much better can that get? When the A-list returns, let's all learn the fascinating language of the cat people and scream profusely to power up. Welcome to Anime America. Welcome to Anime America. Welcome to Anime America. Anime America is celebrating its 50th episode. Join your favorite podcast hosts as they relive their favorite moments of Anime America from the podcast. Because I just discovered how cool- Why? Anna! No! <laughs> Today's Scottish rant is about Anna! <laughs> to the fan dubs... There's already a girl I like. I'm very sorry. No way! And even the live-action video episodes. If you'd like to be a part of the celebration, submit your personal favorite moments of Anime America via YouTube or by emailing us at AnimeAmericaPodcast at Yahoo.com. You may use audio or video to record your message, and as usual, keep it short, sweet, and to the point. The deadline for the messages will be released right after episode 49 airs online, so pick your favorite moment with us and stay tuned to Anime America.